I started working leather uh, in 1971 when I got a, a tandy kit like a lot of young men did. I just took off with it, made all of the, the projects that were in the kit and then uh, pretty quick outgrew the, the kit phase and then just started making things out of whole cloth with my own ideas. Uh, started slowly accumulating tools and, and then in the late 70s, 1979, I got a job as in a holster shop in Twin Falls, Idaho, and uh, that was my first professional experience in a leather shop, and, and uh, I'll never forget the, the day that I walked in there to apply for the job and, and I looked at those people who were making those beautiful things out of leather, and, and I couldn't believe that they were being paid to do that. That really uh, planted the seed, and uh, I could see that this was something worthwhile pursuing and then later in 1982 I wound up building my first saddle in a, in a trade school in Spokane. Well, it's been a, a journey ever since then of refinement. Uh, you're never done. It's one of those things that you wake up thinking, you, you spend all day thinking in a, in a problem solving mode and uh, you go to bed thinking and, and you wake up in the night thinking about how could I make this this next thing a little bit better, or how can I solve this problem? And, and saddles are a supreme challenge. There's something that's uh, captivated my attention for these many years, and uh, I don't intend to, to give it up anytime soon.